My name is Olusha Gumokodo. This video I want to share with you the mystery of virginity. The mystery of virginity. Uh, what does it mean to be a virgin? Uh, a lady who had not engaged, that's in the, in the simplest form, who had not engaged in sexual intercourse. And I believe that the Lord is sending this message out specifically and particularly to young ladies and to a large extent to young men who are out there who have not defiled themselves who have not engaged in sexual intercourse because the devil is out to take your virginity you may not know it but the devil is out to take your virginity but you must understand the mystery behind this thing if not you will make irreparable mistakes i've seen several young women make irreparable mistakes now let me clarify this i may be mentioning women more in this video not because uh young men are not to keep their virginity but because the 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 concept of virginity deals more with women when I'm talking of purity, then I'll talk about men and women. But um, there's something that is called hymen in the vagina of a woman or at the entrance of the vagina of the woman that had to be broken that is generally regarded as being this flower or that that person has lost her virginity. So it's not the fact that I'm just mentioning women because I want women to keep themselves. No. It's because I'm dealing with something that deals with women specifically. I have videos also uh, that deals with men. You can check this YouTube page. I have a uh, YouTube channel rather. I have videos on men that specifically addresses men. This I may be emphasizing about women more. Now, so you've got to understand that your virginity is a gift. That's why it comes from the manufacturer. That's God. You were born with it. But many people have lost it carelessly. Some have been raped. Some lost their virginity while they were young. They were raped. Some were molested. Some even by family members. But a lot actually gave it willingly. Out of ignorance. They were young. They were naive and so on. And they just gave their, their virginity carelessly. You know, I have many stories. I have a, a, a lady of about um, 24 years old who was going to sleep with a man of about 65 years old all because of money. And she was about to lose her virginity, something she had kept, hoping that when she gets married, she will marry as a virgin. She was about to lose it. You know, and many have innocently, you just have one boyfriend and one, one day you were together and, and that would be it forever. Incidentally, most people don't marry the persons who disvirgins them. It tells you that the person who wants to disvirgin you is not going to be your husband or it's not likely to be your husband. So you must learn the wisdom of God and understand this mystery. The first thing I want to say is that virginity is once. You see, God can do anything, but I've not seen God restore somebody's virginity. Once you lose it, it's all. And because it comes with blood, it's a covenant. It's not an ordinary thing. That's why it should only be lost in marriage. Because once you, once somebody engages in intimacy with you and breaks that, and, and blood or, or that human connection, you become one. A covenant is established between you and that person. You see, that your virginity is a token of that covenant. It's a token of that covenant. That's why in the earlier part of the scriptures, the Lord, when they were the children of Israel were operating under the law, we are no more under the law. God said, if somebody uh, uh, takes away the virginity of a lady, that person should pay the bride price and marry that person. 
because that person had become one with that person. So you must understand that it's a serious matter. It's not just it's not just a a chemical biological process of two people engaging in intercourse. It's not just about you having pain. It's a serious matter. It's a spiritual matter. Because it comes with you at bat. Now, I understand that some people can lose their from athletics, from riding horses, and, and so on. Yes. That's uh, technically speaking, yes. But in the real sense, they have not lost it. Because a man had not had intercourse with them. But I know technically the hymen may be torn because of some strenuous work. So you've got to understand that. Now, because you are young, you are not going to know the implication of your virginity until you are much older. So you are 18, you are 19, somebody is disturbing you. If you love me, let's have sex and so on. And you are already considering it. When you lose it, that's when your eyes will be opened. Ask women. I've not seen any woman who kept her virginity and regrets it. People may even have they may have challenges in marriage. Don't get me wrong. But they have not lost anything by keeping their virginity. But most people who have regret are people who lost it. And the circumstance in which they lost it. You know, eventually you are going to meet somebody by the grace of God that will love you genuinely. You will wish that person is the person you give your virginity to. You will regret it. That's why this message is coming to you. It's not a message of condemnation. It's a message of preservation. To preserve you so that you don't throw away this great gift that God has given you. Now, because you are young, you might lose it carelessly. You know, just like Esau, he was hungry one day and then because of food, he said, you can take my bad right. What is bad right to me? That's how some people lose their virginity. They give it out on the on the plates of of porridge don't lose your virginity because uh you are strong. don't throw it away also understand that satan is after your virginity because that opens a lot of doors to him if you keep that virginity fornication it has blocked that i know you can lost in your heart okay that's a different thing that a thing entirely sexually transmitted diseases the shame that comes with it, all of those things are blocked away from your life. So it restricts what the devil can do with your life. It restricts it. All the people he wants to also bring down, you are not a candidate for bringing people down. So know that the devil is after your virginity. Why should you keep it? You see, it may qualify you for great favor. If Mary was not a virgin, Somebody else will have given back to Jesus, but it won't be Mary. God promised, God said, oh, you are going to, a virgin will give back. God has said that long ago, but God didn't put Mary's name there. But when the time came, she was a virgin. My sister, keep your virginity. I know those that God instructed, men that God instructed, said, your wife will be a virgin. So, when they were engaging when they were talking with possible spouses you know and they find that this person is not a virgin they know god is not leading them in that direction so understand it don't don't lose it don't don't play away with it there are things that only virgins can do for god now whether you are a virgin or not if you come to christ he will forgive you he will cleanse you he will use you but there are certain things you may not be useful for god may need a virgin to do that a born again virgin, all right. So don't um, it can it can qualify you for great favor. It can define your assignment. Your assignment in life may be greatly connected to it. So don't take it for granted. Please honor God with your virginity. Uh, your husband will also be proud of it. And I'm hoping that. Any man also will keep himself before marriage. Every man will keep himself also before marriage. But I'm saying to you, your husband will be proud on that day. There's nobody that will not be proud when you get married and the two of you are having sex for the first time. 
for the first time you are just having sex it's wonderful you may look um, like a rookie <laughs> eventually you will get it right and all will be fine but i want to say to you that keep it it saves you from sexually transmitted diseases it saves you from headache from unwanted pregnancy did you know that many have lost their virginity and with that the, the flowering they became pregnant some will now consider abortion. Some will keep the baby and become single mother. Abortion, you are a murderer. You know, their life just take a different course and the, the whole thing just changes. Please, don't let, don't let anybody deceive you. Don't let anybody sweet talk you. There's nothing anybody is going to promise you. In the end, you will regret it. Don't get carried away with the moment. Don't get carried away. Like I said, when, when talking about the mystery of virginity, is a token, is a token of a covenant. It's not a small matter. It's not a small matter. That's why, did you notice most women don't forget who these virgins them? They may even forget some of the other men they slept with, but they, may, they won't forget the person that these virgins them. It's a, it's a serious moment. It's not. It's, it's not a. It's not a, a small matter. It. You see, there's a there's a word in the book of Genesis that I love the way King James puts it. it says, "And and Adam knew his wife." I think it should be uh, uh, Genesis chapter four verse one. And Adam knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain and said, "I've gotten a man from the Lord." Now look at it. Adam knew his wife. Simply saying they had intercourse. But why did the translator translate it to say he knew his wife? Why couldn't he have said they had intercourse or slept with? Why? There is a knowing. There is a knowledge of you that only one person should really know that that intimacy of sex bring about so when somebody takes your virginity that knowledge it's only that person who have access to that knowledge and that's why it should be your husband that is a knowing that is beyond human description you see it's like every other person who sees you outside and there's a there's a limit to which they know you but somebody who had had sex with you do you know that person is different if people are, are in a group and you walked in and somebody is there who has slept with you that's the way you look at each other it's different from the way you perceive every other person you know this person and i have been intimate you know something has taken place between i and this person that has not taken every other person may not be able to say certain things to you. This person may be able to say it because this person already knows you. So it's a mystery. It's a mystery. When somebody takes your virginity, that person humbles you. That's the word, that's the language the Bible uses. Say, because he had humbled her. It humbles you. So it should be a loving husband. It should be a husband that loves you. That person can boast about it. Don't mind. Don't. I was the one who took away her virginity. She's nothing. May that never be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. So you've got to be careful. Now, I want to say that you will have sexual desires that could be uh, that could be very tempting, but the Lord will keep you. God didn't create us to be at the mercy of our sexual desire. So don't let anybody deceive you and say that you can't wait until marry. You can wait. Don't also be disturbed if you are coming across men who say they want to have sex until uh, before marriage. That simply shows you they are not the right person for you to marry. You should not be. You should not trouble your heart. Don't let such things trouble your heart a bit. God will give you a man after his own heart. God will give you 
a man after his own heart. I must also add that there is grace that keeps you. The Bible says the grace that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us to deny or to say no to every form of ungodliness and to live righteous. There is grace that will sustain you. In those trying moments, there is grace that will sustain you. When your friends will come back and discuss sex and talk about how they enjoy sex and so You know, while, we, while I was in the secondary school or high school, you know, we had some of our colleagues that we talk about sex and so And we felt that, oh, they are having great time. We are not having great time. But later I realized that they were destroying their lives. We were the one having great time. Don't fall for that uh, uh, peer pressure. Now, there are different types of virgins today. Um, you see, there are people that are masturbating and they are virgins. They've not had intercourse, but they have been masturbating. You know, they, I call them masturbating virgins. There are those that are oral virgins. That means that they've been engaging in oral sex, but they've not had intercourse. I even know those who are in a relationship and they allow everything, but they don't want intercourse. They keep saying to themselves, I don't want to lose my virginity. But they do every other thing. They fondle themselves and so on. But you see, Rebecca is a virgin indeed. If, if you read Genesis, um, Genesis chapter 24, Genesis chapter 24, uh, and verse. 16 genesis 24 i think verse 16 the bible says, and the damsel was very fair to look upon that's talking about uh, rebecca says and the damsel was very fair to look upon a virgin neither had any man known her and she went down to the well and filled her pitcher and came up why did the bible say that um a virgin neither had any man known her can you see saying a virgin is okay but why go ahead to say Neither had any man known her. You know, I, I feel that that some of you, you are virgins, but men have known you. You have, we have practically done everything. What then are you preserving? So it's not just about that high man. It's about purity. You must understand that. As a child of God, it's about purity. If you are born again. You see, if you are not born again, and you are a virgin, it is good that you are a virgin. But in the end, what does it profit you? Nothing. I therefore call on you to give your life to Jesus. If you want to do that, you can pray with me. And say, Lord Jesus Christ, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. I repent of my sins. And I ask that your blood will come upon me and wash me clean. And I ask that you will please make me a child of God. I believe in you today and I confess you to be my Lord and Savior. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. And give me the grace to live the life of Christ. Thank you for saving me. Please sustain me till the end. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you may want to write me. Check the about section of this um, uh, YouTube channel. You may also subscribe to this YouTube channel so that when we draw video you can see it. You can search the YouTube channel and see some of our other videos on marriage, relationship uh, and so on that will help you uh, and then those on studying the scripture, praying, growing in Christ and so on so that you can help in your work um, with God. But for the rest of us I want to say that it's not just about that physical virginity. As important as that is, because I want you to know it's important. That's why God is sending this message to you. But it's also about purity, preserving our lives unto the coming of Christ. Let me read uh, a scripture to us. Uh, I think 2 Corinthians chapter 11. I'll read it from my mobile. Uh, verse, uh, verse 2. Verse 2 it says, For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. Are you a virgin to Christ? What are you doing? If you are you are doing oral sex, you are masturbating, you are, you are doing all of those things and you are still saying you are a virgin. Today, I ask you to repent. If you are struggling with masturbation, we have a video on this channel on masturbation. It will help you. We also have, uh, I have a book written on masturbation. 
and God had used that book severally to, to help a lot of people to overcome completely masturbation. You know, another thing that leads to all of this is premature relationship. When you enter into a relationship at the wrong time, you will be doing the wrong things in that relationship. If you want to learn how God guides you to a relationship and so on, then you can check some of the video we have here, how God leads you to your spouse, how God connects you to your spouse, how to know the man to marry, how to know the woman to marry. We have all that video on this YouTube channel. So you will really do well to subscribe and search our videos. But I must say to you that you must be a virgin to Christ. You must keep your body. Don't defile your body. Don't join them. You will enjoy it. If you are, if you are watching this video and you are not a virgin, don't feel guilty. You've come to know the truth. Keep yourself now. At any point now that you are hearing this message, you are not married, but you are not a virgin. Keep yourself. The Lord had forgiven you if you have repented and had washed you clean. And the Lord will do good to you. So please don't feel guilty. Say, I will forgive your wickedness. I will remember your sin no more. So don't worry. God has forgiven you. But if you are fighting and you are watching this video, then specifically this video is for you. Keep it until marriage. There are people who are doing, um, is it covenant something? promise that they won't lose their virginity i don't subscribe to all of that because the bible said the arm of flesh will fail you you can you can it's not by promising yourself you'll keep it it is by depending on the grace of god it's only the grace of god that can keep you it's the grace of god that has been keeping all of us not because we make one promise somewhere promise cannot keep you only jesus can keep you let jesus keep you i beg you i beg you by the mercy of god don't make that mistake <clears throat> I have spoken with a lot of young women. They are weeping. They are crying. Their life had become nothing. Except the Lord showed mercy. They've missed out on great opportunities in life. I'm begging you, don't lose it. Keep your virginity. It's a mystery. Even the book of Revelation talks about the 144,000. It says they were virgins. I know some people have misunderstood that scripture saying only 144 will go to heaven. But that's not my discussion now. But just to show you that there's a mystery about virginity. There's a spiritual side to it. Everybody must be presented to Christ as a virgin. Christ is our husband. On that day, I must be presented to him as a virgin. And I'm praying that I will appear before him as a virgin. Keep your virginity. The more you grow, God will now give you more understanding. You will understand its importance. You will know why it's so important to keep it. You will appreciate it. You will never regret it. You will see what the Lord will do in your life. And my prayer for you is that the Lord will keep you. The grace you need to sustain you till the end will rest mightily upon you in the name of Jesus. Once again, my name is Olusha Gumokulu. You may press the notification bell so that next time we uh, put out a video, you are notified. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. God bless you.